Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are back in The Witcher 3, taking a look at some more things that the new next-gen update brought to the game. I have yet to discover them all, but here are just a few things that I came across by just playing around, besides the new DLC gear and the new quest over at the Devil's Pit. It looks like we have some new random encounters or some uh, random events. I came across one that I've never seen before and if I'm wrong about it feel free to correct me down below in the comments. But right here where I am on the map we have an encounter that is not marked in any way shape or form. So I will let it play out and we will talk about it afterwards. Master. Damn cheap guards! You get your coins worth even less! Thank you, Witcher. Where would I be without you? Your guards run off. Louts didn't get the chance, thank the gods. It's them you cut down, waited until we passed the last settlement, then attacked. And to think, I made sure the scoundrels were well armed. We stood no chance against them. Why'd you come all the way to Velen? Not many to sell to around here. Well, there's the Baron. Perhaps you've heard of him. Worth the journey just to sell to him? We'd never have set course for these gods forsaken lands if it wasn't. And we've not much competition. That's the upside. Thank you. Please, this was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours. I've came across this encounter on three different saves at different stages of the game, a new playthrough, one where I was halfway through the game and one where I finished absolutely everything in the game and it was there every time. So as I've said before, I think it's a new one because I've never encountered it even though I've played the game quite a lot. Also it seems like more random monsters and bandits are popping up here and there around the world. Again, on a save where I finished the game and took on pretty much everything all around the world, I bumped into quite a few new enemies just laying around in the woods and in the swamps, bandits and foglets and drowners and whatnot. A really nice quality of life addition came to the game as well with this new update and that is the ability to pet Roach. And to do that, when we are next to Roach, we have to press the jump button, which is spacebar on PC and depending on what side of the horse we are on, we can either pet Roach or we can dust off the saddle. So we have different animations depending on what side of the horse we are on. There is also a new light source that I have not seen until now. Before, if we wanted a light source in a cave or a dark corner of the world, we only had the torch available. And of course, if we want to drink some potions, we can drink cat in order to see in the dark better. But if we wanted a light source, we had the torch. But now we also have this candle lantern that I found right here where I'm on the map at the entrance of a cave not too far away from the hangman's tree. And I know it's a it's a very small thing but I really like it. it. It just adds to the overall amazing atmosphere of the game just having this little candle as a light source when we explore caves and, and dark castles and dungeons and things like that. And I'm sure that there are many more things that I have yet to discover, so I'm very excited to go through the game once again. But yeah, these are just a few things that I came across uh, whilst I started replaying the game a few days ago. Hopefully I'll discover some, some other cool things that we can take a look at in future videos. Uh, but that's about it for right now. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.